Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So in this video what I want to do is cover Wunderlist and some of the most recent updates. Now I don't want to freak anyone out with this video, this is entirely speculation about Wunderlist and this is only what the press has covered so far, some of the top tech sites. I'll be including all the links in the description for you guys to go and explore it. This is not facts, neither is it fiction. I continue to recommend Wunderlist to people that are looking for really strong to-do list applications alongside some of the other apps out there. So in the last few months, I've personally been discussing with a lot of people about the idea of Wunderlist dying. Now, Wunderlist is quite an old company now. It's about five to six years old. It was started in 2011 uh, by a team of developers in Germany. Now, this application grew pretty quickly and it was quite sustainable. It had a really strong feature set and it was growing in popularity. Now in 2015, Microsoft saw that and in June, they actually purchased it. Microsoft also purchased another calendar application just the year before called Sunrise. Many people will know out there that Sunrise was actually shut down uh, last year. This is because Microsoft took all of the learnings, all of the team and all of the functions and embedded that in the Outlook application. This is something that a lot of big companies do all the time. They tend to acquire smaller companies, strip out the assets and bring them into the existing products they have so that they don't overcomplicate things for the future. Now, at this period of time, many Wunderlist users were panicking. Was this going to be happening to Wunderlist in the near future? Wunderlist looked like it was continuing in the process. So for example, they were releasing updates, they actually released nice UI revamps on iPhone and iPad as well. And they also mentioned a few more integrations. One specific integration in April 2016 gave a few hints to potential integrations with the Microsoft application. So in April of 2016, they released this new feature that integrated with the calendar function on Microsoft Outlook. Things escalated quite quickly. In December 2016, there was a leak from Microsoft called Project Cheshire. Now, Project Cheshire looks like a simple task management application, but being leaked from Microsoft, many people panicked because this obviously is a to-do list application from Microsoft where they own Wunderlist. So were they going to be stripping the assets from Wunderlist and embedding them in the Project Cheshire application? Now, as you can see from the designs, they're very simple, nothing too extravagant here. But was this an early taster of what Microsoft would be working on, seeing as Wunderlist weren't actually pushing many updates? Last month, on Microsoft actually covered a piece about the Project Cheshire and also some of the other stuff with Wunderlist. Now, Wunderlist a couple of months ago actually integrated with uh, Cortana, which is Microsoft's voice assistant, which is pretty impressive, but they sort of brought that together, which was another clue. Now, in this piece, they mentioned a Microsoft To Do, which integrated with Cortana. Now, many people believe this to be the service that unifies the Wunderlist uh, and, and the Project Cheshire project all inside of one. Now, Microsoft didn't comment on this, and this was actually featured in some of the copy on their website, which I'll show you now. It was quickly removed by Microsoft, as you can imagine, because it probably revealed some of their future projects. Now, weirdly, in March, Todoist have just announced that they're bringing out a Wunderlist transfer feature. Now, Todoist have been speculating recently that Wunderlist will be dying soon and putting some time into creating that transfer application, which basically any Wunderlist mover can move over to Todoist uh, instantly using the transfer feature. But Todoist have really been speculating on a number of aspects. Alex, one of their designers, actually spotted that their Dribbble account had been changed from Wunderlist over to Microsoft with a new profile and a new name, which is very interesting. As we all know, these were all clues and potentially nothing could come of it. But with what happened with Sunrise, many people are speculating onto whether this is going to be the death of Wunderlist. Now, Microsoft actually bought it in June 2015, and they spent a lot of time in that period continuing on the progress of Wunderlist. But in the last eight months, there's only been two major product updates. That would be the Cortana push in November and also an integration push with five new integrations into the Wunderlist app. Now for the last eight months, that's not many new features. And this is very similar to what happened with Sunrise. A lot of the features were shut off for a couple of months and there was really no updates to the service. Let's just say Wunderlist was shut down. There would be plenty of time to jump ship. 
When Sunrise died, there was actually three or four months where users can actually transfer their data or prepare with another service to get ready uh, and start using it. Now, in terms of my gut opinion, I think Microsoft shouldn't do this because, because it is such a great application. And I don't really see, unless the Microsoft To Do or Project Cheshire is totally amazing, why they should be doing this. My gut feeling says that they might do this, but that's entirely me speculating. Anyway guys, I hope this informed you about some of the changes that Wunderlist have been making over the next couple of months. I know that the team won't be commenting on this video because I can imagine that it's something they're a bit sensitive about at the moment. All the links will be in the description below so you can go and check out those pieces. And if you want to continue this conversation, jump over to Twitter. My handle is at Francesco D underscore A-L-E-E-S and I can chat with you guys in the community and discuss this whole topic. If you have any comments or questions, drop them below. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe. I put out regular videos and I'm really keen to have you in the community. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.